Mr. Karthik, what's the significance of a word engineering in the book uh, called uh, Shift in the Conscious States of Mind, Revamped? Well, this is something which I always wanted to share with my viewers as well as a lot of people who have read it and I'm very happy that uh, you have also read it and uh, how has been your experience reading it? Fantastic. So, word engineering essentially does not mean that you are programming certain words which have a very hypnotically induced influence. Word engineering means you are using a certain framework of sentences with different font size. You know today, there is largely so much of information available about this established fact that your body speaks more than your words, isn't it? Yeah. When a person is afraid, you can make out from his body language. When a person is bold, you can make out from his body language. When a person is honest, it reflects in his body language. When a person is completely false and he has built a very uh, sabotaged levels of and he is experiencing very bad self-esteem you can very clearly observe it in his body language and the way in which he comes out in similar ways word engineering does the very very same thing in your subconscious mind word engineering essentially means simply this that you're using different font size positioning for example you have times roman font you have duster chalk font you have bold font, you have italic uh, font size, different kind. So what we essentially have done in this book is to come out with different font size and to come out with different font size which are creating a specific level of impact. For example, there can be a sentence which goes like this, which is triggering your emotional high on staying involved under distracted atmospheres. And then in a few chapters afterwards, you will again find a similar situation where your focus level needs to be high. You need focus, right? To do whatever you wish to do. Yeah. Isn't it so? You require focus. So what it does is it creates the very same size of font and very same size of uh, application of the words in a different way. For example, if I would have written here, why do you require distraction? There I might have written, there is no necessity to be distracted. Now there are two different sentences, but it's conveying one single meaning called stay focused. So how it is presented, it's very interesting to read. And uh, yes, I find it my responsibility to share the link and uh, right below the video in the description box, you can find the link. It's available in Amazon, it's available in Kobo. iTunes says, I also want to make this book available and it's available in iTunes too and uh, you can just go ahead download it read it not once you have to read it thrice four times five times the point is you have to get influenced in a very positive way and nobody minds being influenced in a positive way which is going to trigger tremendous growth and uh, create a very very sporadic possibilities of joy and uh, well-being Thank you for answering my question. Thank you. Thank you.